welcome back to the cafe. Along shortly is Chef Mark showing us his favourite tiramisu recipe. And we'll be talking with the wonderful Lisa Chapel. Now we all have a wish list of things that we'd love to own, but sometimes getting started is a little overwhelming. So we've got our finance guru, Charlotte Lockhart, back on the couch with us for Perpetual Guardian Money Matters to give us some advice. Morning, Charlotte. Good morning. So when you say financial bucket list, yes. uh, sort of what, what are you expecting to hear here? What sort of things are we expecting well, to do in this list? Well, when we do a bucket list, we normally think, oh, I'm going to climb Kilimanjaro or something like this. But actually, we've got some clear goals that we might want to achieve financially as well early retirement, be a millionaire. So we thought we might have a bit of fun today and ask everyone here what they might like to um, have on their bucket list. Okay. Oh, okay, can I go first? You can. Well, okay, cool. get it now. Yeah, I am <laughs> going to go first. No, my ultimate dream on the bucket list is to have enough money to buy a piece of land, a piece of dirt somewhere that I can put a little holiday home on eventually down yep. the track. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's like a big goal. Is that the sort of thing we're talking about? Yeah, sort absolutely. of those big goals? Absolutely. So I mean, you can break them down into little goals and you obviously need to do that to, as part of your plan. But having something that you really want to achieve that is gives you something to work towards. Mm. Mine would be a couple of things like getting my children through university but also going on a world trip with family. Yeah. <laughs> that's, also, that's probably higher up the, than the university one, <laughs> if I'm being honest, education, world trip. So, <laughs> this is the moment. Uh, we should ask a little bit around here and see what everybody else is asking for. Uh, Holly, what are you yeah. saving for? Okay, so I, I want a pool and an oasis in the back garden. I also want to go back to England next year. <laughs> Can you help me with all of this, Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> I think I need another job as well then, eh? Yeah. Right, yeah, we said one thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got, no, no, I'm joking. Jesse. What about you, Jesse? Yeah, so I want to go on my uh, besties 40th next year to Rarotonga, so that's more of an immediate goal. Oh, okay. yeah, that's sweet. A, That seems like a nice, achievable goal. He yeah. just needs to work hard, save some money. Absolutely. For that, How that... easy is that? <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> easy. <laughs> um, Mark, what about you? Well, I'd like two things. I'd like my own restaurant, and I'd like a new car. Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG. <laughs> <laughs> no, but is it, is it good to be that specific? Yeah, well, it is. I mean, with any goal, it's you know we talk about them being smart and, yeah. and things, but um, yeah, you you do want to be clear about what you're looking for. A car's not perhaps the best example <laughs> of a financial goal, to be fair, because of course they are a depreciating asset as well. So what we want to be looking at is what's actually going to add true value for you, whether it be financial value or as you talk about having the trip with the children. Yeah. That is an amazing life experience uh, value for the children and for yourselves as well. So those are the sort of things that we want to try and look at, uh, having the chance to have a place to get away from. Uh, the world and, and, and a, your piece of dirt, great. Holly, pool, not, maybe not quite so much, but then trips and experiences are important <laughs> if we're going to remember that we've lived a life. And that's the sort of thing I do tend to gravitate towards, the trips and experiences, when I should be th looking at things like paying off mortgages, perhaps? Yep. Yeah. Oh, so I was just going to ask you that. So we set these goals, but maybe you've got a mortgage you want to chip away at as well. Absolutely. Do both? What do you reckon? Do both. And so one, one of the things we say with debt is get rid of your most expensive debt first. So that's going to be anything to do with credit cards. I mean, we should all, we all know we should be paying our credit cards off every we month. That. We all yeah. know that. And so you want to develop some habits around how you get it paid off and then keep it paid off, maybe not even have one. And so therefore only be buying things with the money that you have to hand. Your next likely most expensive bill is going to, or interest rate cost is likely to be any overdrafts or your mortgage. So those are the ones that you want to work for. Mm -hmm. Student loan at the moment, of course, if you remain in New Zealand is interest free. So you have to take, a lot of people that go, oh, I want to get my student loan paid off, but actually question your financial priorities around have I got other debt that's costing me more. Credit card's going to be 20%. Interest free, 20%, yeah. got to work that out. And you've also got to look at um, interest free deals are not necessarily interest free. You've got all sorts of fees and things like yeah. that. So when you add all of that up, and at a certain time comes and they do become in their interest that's involved. Well, that's actually Excellent. some really sound advice there, and I, I like I like where you've directed us. In that's, yeah. been, that's been really useful. Motivational. Actually, and, yeah. have and, <laughs> have yeah. well. and have a will. And have a will. And have a will. It's not yes. the Charlotte part show, and as Charlotte says, have a will. It's some really good <laughs> yeah. advice, though, Charlotte. Uh, really excellent. And you can get more financial advice from the team at Perpetual Guardian or take a look at their website.